I'm Lisa Raleigh and this is your Wake Up Call. Keep it real, powered by Ned Group Life. Let's make it happen. Today on Keep It Real, I'm going to be chatting to Nikki Bush, creative parenting expert, on how parenting has changed over the last few years and how us as parents can change, keep up and evolve. Nikki, what are some of the problems that the younger generation are facing these days? Well, I think parents are finding that their children don't use their ears, they don't listen so much anymore and teachers are finding that as well. Concentration spans are definitely down mm -hmm. and the literacy rates seem to be dropping. And I think we can see, you know, some of the influences there are the fact that our children are quite addicted to screens. They're mm -hmm. the wired generation, they absolutely love technology. They're intuitive with it, they don't have to be taught how to use it. And as parents, we are not quite so au fait. And unfortunately, the default setting that parents and children use today is a screen. Mm -hmm. So if parents come home, and we're all seriously busy today, I mean, every parent, you say, hi, how are you? And they say, hectic. Yeah. And that's the end of the conversation because yeah. we have to rush off and do something else. Mm -hmm. Parents are so busy that they tend to use the screen as the default setting um, and if a child is asking them come and play with me now mum they'll say go and watch uh, TV go and play PlayStation or something like that and vice versa when we're being boring and we're, when we're not present enough with our children because it's easy to be with your children but to not actually be present. So like mommy I told you but you're not listening. <laughs> so it's really important as parents that we learn how to be creative with the time that we do have with our children, that we learn how to maximize the time no matter how small. So we talk about is it quality time, mm -hmm. is it quantity time, what's important? Well both really are important but we need to learn how to be present with our children in small pockets of time mm -hmm. because this whole thing of being super mum and super dad is really it's just a myth, really, mm -hmm. because every day as a parent is different. You spoke about being more conscious. How do parents start becoming more conscious? Well, I think what we need to understand is that children have a wonderful natural developmental timetable that goes quite slowly like that. Mm -hmm. And we lead these very hectic lives like this, and it's a little bit like oil and water. Okay. So we need to make a conscious effort to spend, to share time, space and pace with our children. That's interesting. Explain that to us. We have to slow down sometimes and I think children are great for that because if we play a game with our children, we have to slow down and play. Hit the pause button just okay. for a minute on your busy schedule okay. and you will actually it's find good for our stress it's levels. good for your soul, it's good yeah. for your stress levels. You know, we go, 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 go and technology saved us time, but are we really spending any of the saved time reading an extra long bedtime story? I don't think so. We just cram more and more into our day and what's happening is our children are reflecting that busyness. We are overscheduled, and look at our children's schedules. They are also overscheduled. Yeah. What it does mean is that we have to be more creative with that time that we have with our children. We need to learn how to create a big impression mm -hmm. in a in short, short period of time, of time okay. which means connection on a deep level, listening to your children, mm -hmm. talking to your children, talking them clever. And good solid foundations, morals and values as well. I think that they are anchors to your value system. You mentioned to me earlier about that X factor. Can you explain that to us a little more? The future world of work is, is going to be an interesting place for our children because a lot of our children, A, are going to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Probably 60 to 70% of them will create their own jobs. And the kind of jobs out there are going to change radically over the next few years. With all this change that's going on, all the opportunities that technology and connectivity are allowing us, uh, we can shape our own destiny and our children increasingly so. So they're growing up with four new freedoms, to know, to go, to do, and to be. That's a huge amount of freedom, but wow, what a, what a time in history to be living. And now for today's financial savvy tip. Use your credit card as a debit card, giving it the same respect you do as your physical cash. To find out more about today's show and our featured experts and the chance to win awesome daily and weekly prizes, log on to keepitreal.coza. So remember, there's no such thing as a super parent. It's just going to take a little bit of time and energy to figure out what works for you and your family and remember that it's a team effort. That's it from me, Lisa Valley. This is Keep It Real. Until next time. Keep It Real, brought to you by Ned Group Life. Let's make it happen.